Hello Tourers, hello everyone, my name is Grio Horat and welcome to our new update Surfing Daily Twice where I'll look at some of the most interesting developments for this week. This video has been brought to you by Orbex. I will look at the dollar index, cable, silver, crude oil and dollar knock. So dollar is making some interesting recovery for the last uh, week or so after this massive breakdown that occurred after the inflation in the US came lower than expected down around 3% but now we are seeing quite a nice recovery here also it has something to do with stock market that recently uh, found some resistance it's not a surprise actually stock market has seen a pretty nice run um, for the last few weeks and we are in the middle of the summer so there can be some profit taking and potentially even sideways or corrective pullback on stocks uh, stocks and on the opposite side of this dollar index uh, obviously or dollar in general is moving to the upside also we have bank of japan uh, in uh, we had inflation figures and also there were some comments about the yield curve control from bank of japan still they will stick with the current policy it seems and uh, dollar yen is also maybe another reason why uh, dollar index could be dragged uh, to the upside however looking here at the wave structure um, i still think that there is a very important resistance going on right now here if you look closely uh, at this 10 uh, 100 point uh, that's 100 point 80 up to 101 uh, 34 so that's still a very pot strong potential resistance for a wave four but keep in mind that today is friday so friday the most important price of the week it's important where the price will close so for now we are seeing very nice rise but let's say if by the end of the day we see a very strong reversal from that current resistance area and then let's let's say that prices on uh, dollar index would close somewhere around 100 then i think that more weakness here could definitely be possible for wave 5 okay but because we are at this do or die level and because we have been rallying for the whole week i just realized that maybe we will keep moving higher or just close around current prices okay so i also have another interpretation here which actually shows that if suddenly let's say we rally back above or back above 10 uh 101 70 or so definitely then this previous swing uh, swing lows would be taken out and in such case this would normally suggest that we have a low in place so as a, uh, again it's port important is how the market will close here and this of course will then tell us more what may happen next week on fx major pairs okay so this actually this wave count despite potential bottom formation if we really would rally back above 10170 would suggest that this was a five waves down and that we will see a free wave rise in the next few months before market will make another very strong drop okay uh, but for now i will try to stick with the current primary idea because i don't want to be too fast changing the primary wave counts and if we look here closely in the four hour chart definitely very important levels here but as i said 10170 more even more importantly 10190 which was the wave one swing low should not be overlapped if that would happen then obviously we will know that this is not wave four anymore and that bottom is in place okay now uh we however despite this massive um, breakdown on dollar index last week um cable has been doing very well but then even inflation in uk is coming to the nose so it looks like that maybe um speculators went too far with uh, speculations on uh regarding the inflation figures because we know that at some point obviously even the uk inflation should come to the downside and obviously uh, this is now happening and keep in mind that if the inflation in the uk is coming to the downside it has a worry it's had it has a lot of room to move lower compared to other countries okay because inflation in the uk is still very high so for now uh, it looks like that market is making this very strong aggressive reversal could still be ongoing way four but what is really important here that even if it's way four well you should see three waves down here within way four right so looking at the smaller degree time frame charts even if i think that there can be more upside coming as long as the way four is trading above this wave one level well keep in mind that that's an impulsive drop 
So this impulse down suggests that the temporary top is in place. So I will be looking for even more weakness after rally in wave B and then more weakness for wave C. So I think that there can be even some kind of a interesting short opportunities if we see a rally here, especially if dollar index would su suddenly, let's say, stay close by the end of the week and even rally towards 101.90, as I said earlier. Then we would have even stronger evidence that dollar is probably moving higher. And of course, then my focus will be on potential shorts on pound versus US dollar because definitely pound has a very nice beautiful structure uh, as i will show you here on the one hour time frame potentially we are seeing five waves down so watch out for more weakness after after uh, a free wave rally okay i will adjust the wave count here a little bit uh, maybe that was a wave for that was a fifth wave down and this was these were five subways within wave three so I think that more downside here is definitely possible even as i said even if this whole move from the highs will be in free waves and corrective there is room for more weakness but you never know maybe this free wave move later will become higher degree five wave drop so i think that more weakness could be seen now let's take a look on silver now silver is doing very well much better compared to gold because gold silver ratio moved to the downside and so far if you look at silver we had a very nice impulsive recovery um very strong breakout of this base channel so i think that was an extended wave three and you are now in a wave four again this uh, metal could face obviously deeper pullback if gold is recovering uh, sorry if dollar is recovering um, but so far despite some very nice bounce on dollar over the last few days silver is still doing quite well we are trading here above 24.50 which in my opinion is a key support level so after minor free sub waves down into wave 4 i think that there can be more upside coming so for now that's still only minor sub wave a of this abc substructure that is needed for wave 4 right so watch out for more upside 24.50 is definitely interesting support below that you have the 38.2 percent at 24.22 so regarding the risk on sentiment or potential dollar weakness i think that silver still it looks very attractive but of course drop below 24 would probably invalidate my view now let's take a look on crude oil also crude oil is interesting from from a uh, bullish, bullish perspective if let's say risk on sentiment will improve watch out for crude oil because again despite lower sorry higher us dollar this week crude oil did not see any kind of a real retracement it's been consolidating around this big level here uh, above 75 so i think that this can be a way for watch out for more upside ideally into wave five out of this triangle if not today then maybe next week okay uh, also uh, on the opposite side of that if crude oil is coming to the upside dollar knock could see more weakness and if you look closely here on dollar knock uh, we have a very nice beautiful very strong breakdown looks like that was wave one wave two and very sharp drop is wave three in my opinion so more weakness here again could be coming after um, after a rally into wave four let me just um, let me just uh, find where i have this okay here this there is an intraday price chart okay so that was wave one wave two it looks like that extended wave three so after this consolidation will end i think that more weakness will come okay especially if crude oil would really move to the upside don't get confused about different labels uh, i have blue labels here while on this chart i have uh, i have black labels still it's the same idea i just have to uh, adjust the wave uh, degrees here but overall, I think that this market is bearish. We are now in consolidation. Let me just maybe adjust this wave count a little bit. Okay, so that was wave three, wave four. So I would be expecting more weakness here into wave five after current consolidation will complete. Okay, traders, thank you very much for your attention. I hope that you enjoyed this video and talk to you next time. Bye.